I felt God's presence in my life, and in that moment, I, I accepted Christ. I grew up in a uh, family of two very functional alcoholic parents who um, did not really have a Christian lifestyle at all. They believed in God, but that is as far as it had went. Um, so growing up, I watched both of my parents uh, deal with alcohol, and they taught us the best that they knew how to, to live, but Christ definitely was not the center of our household. As I got to my teenager years, I uh, began to experiment with marijuana, and I got addicted to drugs and to alcohol, and I had made some bad choice friends along the way, and a lot of them did not believe in God as well, and they, um, they were atheists, and I kind of took that role as well coming up. And by the age of 17, I was addicted to whatever I could get my hands on. At 19, I was living in North Carolina, and I had moved to, to Dothan, Alabama, and I thought at that time that I could change and that I could uh, get my life back on track. Without God, however, I still was an atheist, and I didn't believe. And so my sobriety didn't last but about five minutes of coming into the driveway, and I was just back on that course again of, of doing drugs. My family tried their best to, to deal with my addictions, and I still didn't have God in my life. People were still talking to me about God. And I finally just hit rock bottom in my life. I, um, I was at an all-time low. I, I tried and tried and tried to control my life all the time. Um, tried to control my addiction in my own strength. And I couldn't do it. I had went to my sister, to my younger sister, and my addiction had just gotten the best of me. And I knew that she was attending a church and that she had just recently accepted Christ into her life. And she had invited me to another church and I had went to that church and they were talking about spiritual war warfare and the message just touched me. And I was driving, I was actually on, on 84 and I was driving and um, God just hit me. Like all of a sudden God just hit me and I broke down into tears. I felt God's presence in my life and in that moment I, I accepted Christ. I started coming to church here at Harvest with uh, my wife. And at first, I was just only coming to the Sunday services, and I, was, I had terrible anxiety. I didn't want to be a part of any small groups. Uh, people scared me. Uh, other Christians scared me. I didn't feel like I was good enough. So I would just come on Sundays, and I would get a message, and I would hear worship, and then I would leave, and nothing was changing. I still had other things that were going on in my life. I was still a, an alcoholic and I didn't think that I was. I only drank occasionally. And um, in 2012, I had a wake-up call. Uh, my wife and I were involved in an alcohol-related car accident. I knew that I had to do something more. Um, my wife knew about Celebrate Recovery. We ended up coming and getting involved, and my anxiety was still at an all-time high. Um, and I would come and I would try my best to, to make the thing work. And, and I got involved with James and Jessica Keeler. I met them. And uh, as time was going on, I, I got more involved. And uh, James became a mentor of mine. And God just really started working through my addiction. And he also was working through my, my anxiety. Um, as time went on, I became small group leaders. We were leading the groups in CR, and uh, last year of, of May, James actually uh, passed the ministry over to my wife and I. And so today, now, because of Harvest and, and Celebrate Recovery here, we have an opportunity to serve. And one of the biggest things that I've learned of, from being here is that God uses our weaknesses for the greater good and all of our past mistakes from all that in CR, I'm able to turn those back today.